Hello, hello family. This is Right One Assembly here putting up a basketball hood. This is a mega slam that we're putting up in Virginia. So we dug a deep hole, a very deep hole. This ground was so hard and it took us a couple of minutes to get the length we need. And after putting a lot of uh, stuff, concrete, and it was crazy. It was a crazy day. Hearts and human. And we have to do this because this is what we do. And, and yep, there's a couple of steps of how we do it. Put the tools together. Make sure they are all in line. And yeah. All right. Let me leave you to enjoy this video. Come back to it. Yeah, so here if you watch carefully we're trying to make sure the level of the ground and the wood everything is level before we put the concrete so that the mega slam movie is level after everything is done so just making sure make sure we do it right at the end of the day everybody is happy and that's what we do do it right and make sure you go home happy, right? <laughs> Alright, come back to it again, uh, step by step, after everything is done. So now everything is level. You can see the rivers in the four rivers. This hole is about three feet plus because we wanted to make sure the mega slam is really secured. We use about five and a half uh, concrete mix to make sure we really mix the concrete well, no any dust that was anywhere, so that everything will be dried and secure on the ground. Cause safety first. That's our goal. Make sure it's safe and nobody call us back for uh, had I know or any we didn't do it right. So we take our time to make sure the concrete is really mixed. This time, if you can look, we didn't take our wheelbarrow with us, so we just find a bowl and then try to mix it in there, which was good as well. It was just right there, and we pour it in there. And yes, make sure everything is secure. The hole was deep enough for the hole. Because the mega slime is like I said, it's really heavy, really, really heavy. So yeah, this is a step by step how we do it. Yeah, you can tell we're making sure that the ground is level before we pour the last concrete on it. Because that's the final one. If you make any mistake, then you have to dig all the concrete out. And we don't want that. So yeah all right enjoy come back to it again
so concrete is done this is the most important part if you mess up this and your base is not level then you are in trouble because if this thing is not level the hood is not gonna be level and you, you can tell the difference when even if the person is not professional stand right in front of it you can tell that it's not level so this is the most important part you have to make sure your platform base is very level from corner to corner and you can tell that's what we're doing right now we've been doing this for a while so we know what we're doing this is your first time doing this you have to make sure you do it right because you can go back to this after any mistake when the concrete is dry yeah you can tell the platform is ready everything is set to go yeah Yeah, so after everything is done, we waited for five days to make sure the concrete is really firm and ready for the base. Because like I said, this thing is really heavy. You don't have to rush it. Just do your concrete, take your time, make sure it's really dry. Usually it should take about 24 to 40, 72 hours. Then it's ready, but we just wanna make sure we do it right. So we waited for five days to make sure everything is set and ready so you can tell now we are on it getting the work done putting all the pieces and every part together of where it belongs yeah and enjoy and we'll come back to it again thank you guys so much for watching the video Another very important step, this thing is so heavy, one of our guys called us on us, so unfortunately it's just the two of us, usually the manual says three to four people to do this, but we've been doing this for a while, and sometimes it's just the two of us, this is so heavy, you have to make sure you're doing it right, please don't do this if you don't have the experience to hold this thing firm. Because we're using experience here right now. It's super heavy, trust me if I say so. So if you don't know what you're doing, please get a couple of bodies with you. Maybe four people who can hold it firm for you. But if you have the experience, you probably need about three people just to put this together. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, yeah, so finally everything is coming together. Another step that is really important before you tight this, please make sure you put a level on it before you tie the basketball net itself, yeah. the hoop itself. Because if it's not level, I mean, you have, to, you have to make it professional. So we put a level on it before we put a drill on it to tie it up. Yeah, that's how we do it. Make sure we go home happy. Always wanna go home happy. You no, know, any customer calling us back for any uh, strange reason or wrong reasons. So that's our goal to make sure we go home happy. Yeah, finally everything is done. It was great. The guy was super excited. We were super excited. Everything went well. This is what we do. We are based in Virginia. We work around uh, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and Virginia. As we call it, the DMV. You can call us anytime you need help with any of your work. And we will be there to help you out. Yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. This is the step-by-step -step of uh, how we started. The concrete, the base the side inside the slide you know we try to set everything aside thank you so much please subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you so much and ciao ciao yeah man bye